Hi friends, it's Ziva. I wanted to make a video about kind of a bunch of different things. Um, so first I'm home from the 30th anniversary of the Dog Brothers tribal gathering that was three days long. I did not fight. My husband fought all three days and of course a number of friends and martial arts buddies were there and fighting as well. And so that was really great. I'm glad I got to be there. I'm glad my husband got to fight. I thought he did really well and um, just, just a really good weekend. The Thursday night before the three-day weekend was a seminar with Lonely Dog at the training mat in Moreno Valley. I'm uh, very excited to get to train under him again. It's the third time I've gotten to. We went out to Illinois last year to do a weekend long seminar with him, which was amazing. And then before that, when we went to the European gathering in Hanover, Germany, we got a very short seminar with him at the end of one of the days of fighting. Um, I really, really like his material. I think it's a good fit for my body type if I can train it and execute it, because obviously, um, things you really need great footwork you really need to master that range for his evasion and things like that um which is not things that i'm particularly great at but i think there are things that if i train i could be good at and man every time i finish a seminar with him or watching him fight on a video or in person i just uh it really makes me wish i could train with him more <laughs> But he's in Switzerland, so it's not like I can just take private lessons from him. So that makes me that makes me a little sad, and I'm just, yeah, I'm craving I'm craving more of that material. I'm craving more uh, help with that. Um, but the real reason that I made this video um, is that on Saturday or Sunday, there was a lady at the tribal gathering, not fighting, um, and she asked me if I was going to fight in September. And I gave her sort of a wishy-washy answer because I didn't want to make any promises, but I really do want to try to fight in September. I don't want to miss the opportunity of another lady being there because it's so rare and I don't know when it will happen again. And part of the problem without with ladies not being there is that because there aren't ladies fighting, then other ladies don't want to fight and then it perpetuates itself, right? And so like maybe all we need is some, a couple ladies to start fighting and maybe it will attract more and it will solve itself. So I, I really want to do it. There are a number of logistical and psychological and, and fitness related problems with that. You know, I'm out of shape. I've been working on getting in shape for a year, but I spent a lot of years getting myself out of shape. So it's taking a while to get me back in shape. My, my training hasn't been super great lately, a lot of real life stuff and stuff with my head instructor, him moving and, and things like that. And so we haven't been training quite as often. Yeah, so basically it's a lot of work and it's not a lot of time. So that makes me very apprehensive. Also, I, I actually don't know anything about her, but every time I've seen her, she's been in proximity to this other guy who is a full dog brother, who is a great fighter. In fact, he has been kind of for a long time one of my favorite fighters to watch fight. I know you're not supposed to have favorites, but right, there are certain people who, whose skill or techniques or style just sort of appeals to you, and he's one of those people. And so I don't know if she trains with him or she's his girlfriend or wife or just a friend. I, like, I don't, I don't know, but um, I'm reasonably confident that because they know each other very well, uh, probably she'll be training with him for September, which makes her very daunting. Also from her Facebook, uh, it seems like she has a lot of martial arts experience and skill where I don't, I've only been doing martial arts in general for five or six years and, um, and I'm out of shape and all those things. Right. So, so a lot of things make me nervous. I mean, there's always excuses, right. That I can, I could find. I'm just sort of venting my, my, uh, my worries, right? But I have started getting ready and part of the reason I'm making this video is for some accountability. Maybe it will make it harder for me to back out if I've put it on the internet that I've been seriously considering it. So that's kind of kind of what this video is. But I'm gonna start training more, working on my footwork more and things like that. I ordered a custom mouthpiece or at least uh, the impression set to have one made. So I'm gonna I'm gonna start I'm gonna start working like I'm gonna fight there but I'm I reserve the right to back out at the last minute. There are a lot of things about it that are intimidating to me and actually getting injured is one of the lowest um, 
you know, making a fool of myself is a very high worry. Um, I think that's a high worry for everybody. But I also, you know, I have talked about this in other videos. I don't like people looking at me. I'm very shy. And so it's very, very daunting to have to fight in an environment where people are looking at you. Like even sparring, we do like sparring things. Anytime there's a sort of thing where like, okay, now you two go and spar and we'll all stand here and watch you. Like even if it's a small group, it makes me very, very nervous. I like it much better when you know we break into our own groups and spread out to our sparring and things like that. Um, I just, I just don't like, I don't like being the center of attention, and there's no way to avoid it in that environment. And uh, at an open, especially where there's like kind of a big audience and things like that, just very, very intimidating. So that is um, that is probably the m scariest aspect of it to me, more than than anything else, more than hurting myself, more than making a fool of myself or embarrassing my instructor or anything like that that's that's sort of it is people watching me so i have to i have to get over that or i have to just commit so much that i can't i can't back out <laughs> something like that so and the the other thing and maybe i should make a dedicated video to this but i'll i'll touch on it briefly is i don't know what to do about my glasses so i have extremely bad eyesight Contacts are not a realistic option for me. I can't wear them very long. So unless I was like putting them in right before the fight and taking them out right after, which I'm not sure is like reasonable or even um, sanitary in sort of that environment, right? It's not the cleanest environment. It's a bunch of sweaty people. You're doing it in a gym bathroom, things like that. Uh, I don't even know if that's really a good idea. So what I do now when I do martial arts and when I spar is I have a cheap pair of glasses from an online company with polycarbonate lenses which are very durable the frames are very cheap so they can break easily but again the glasses are cheap because they're from an online place so it's not really a big deal that's great works great for me for sparring and it's very nice to have um, a cheap a cheap pair of glasses compared to my regular pair but uh, that kind of only works if we're upright and I don't know how well it will work if I get knocked in the head if the glasses get twisted if I'll be able to fix them and if we go to the ground it they're not going to stay on and I can't see anything without my glasses so I really need them and uh, goggles are kind of risky because I don't know if they'll fit on under the fencing mask unless I try them on there's not a lot of places to try them on it's hard to find goggles that fit ladies in general uh, sports glasses there's issues with them fogging up there's also issues if they can be made in high enough prescriptions I'm sure there are options out there but um, they are probably more limited even more limited than already has to fit under a fancy mask has to fit a lady with a tiny head <laughs> um, and um, also with again with my prescription unless I can find them from a cheap online place the place I get these doesn't offer them uh, they will be very very expensive and so the money cost alone might be prohibitive, but also it's a gamble if I get them and then I find out that, oh, they fog up or, oh, they don't stay on or they don't fit under my fencing mask or something like that. So that is a not insignificant logistics issue that I need to figure out for this. Probably what I'll end up doing is just fighting in the cheap glasses and doing the best I can, but it is a problem that I need to solve long term. If you have any suggestions or any ideas or you know what other people do, please leave them in the comments or message me or something because I really want to know what options I have. There are people who fight in goggles. Um, there are people, um, there's one guy who fights, he says they're um, military glasses designed to fit under gas mask. They're very like unique looking um, and they're just held on by a thin band and it's mostly like the lenses that are just like tied on your head. There's no frames or anything like that. And they seem to work really well for him. But again, I don't know where he got them. I don't know how expensive they would be. And I don't know if they would work with my prescription because one of the things about my eyes is that even in like the thinnest lens, they're still very, very thick and very, very heavy. So. So yeah, I am somewhat limited. Like even these places, they advertise, oh, you can get glasses for five bucks. But like that's, uh, I have a surcharge for how much my prescription is and, and, and I can't get the cheapest quality lens. I have to go up. So even these from, you know, the, the 25, five to $20 glasses sites are usually about 75, $80. Um, but again, that's way, way better than getting them from my optometrist or from a retail store and paying like five or 600. 
anyway, yeah, so the glasses issue is something kind of stressing me out. If you have any suggestions, please let me know. I know nobody watches these videos, but uh, just in case someone crosses them and has some experience or knows someone who has some experience with that, let me know. Uh, anyway, uh, thank you for watching, guys. I will try to make more videos of this process as I figure things out and uh, see what I'm doing. And hopefully, hopefully I can do it because, I again, I don't want to miss the opportunity to have a lady to fight in September. She seems like a nice lady, a lady who will kick my ass, but a nice lady. And uh, yeah, so that's kind of everything. It's been, it's been some busy few weeks. Uh, but thank you for watching, guys.